Hey, it's me, Nalthazar, and welcome to another deck building showcase video. In this one, I'm going to be deck building around Harmonious Archon. So I wound up getting this card on day one. It was one of my first pulls from the new set. And if you watched my chase cards, Mythics and Masterpieces, you know that this is a card that I was very high on going into the set. So it's 20 for an 8-9. It makes three 1-1 one, one human tokens. But those three 1-1 one, one human tokens become three threes, meaning that you're getting an 8-9 and a 9-9 nine, nine for 20. So that's pretty solid. Now, because of how that while this creature's on the battlefield, non-Archon creatures on the battlefield have base power toughness 3-3, three, three, I thought, you know what? This needs more tokens. So as this clearly needs more tokens, I went ahead, made a Tamiyo deck that uses Thopter Spy, that's going to be making three tokens a turn. March of the Multitudes, which can make us 12 tokens in a turn. And then some other general shenanigans. So Finale of Revelation is for card draw and increasing our blue mana gains. Mystic Sanctuary and Castle Vantress are both going to be giving us blue gems. The Vantress, a ridiculous amount of card draw. The Sanctuary is going to be ideally getting us our March of the Multitudes back repeatedly. And then the rest of the deck is functioning around getting things stronger and faster. So let's go ahead and show Sarkon a good time. I'm going to go ahead and guess that Sarkon has not really had very many good time options with Tamiyo. I'm, you know what? Ignore me. I'm keeping this. Yep. Okay. Anyways, this is an amazing starting hand. March of the Multitudes, Harmonious Archon is like living the dream here. So... We're going to go for March of the Multitudes first, Harmonious Archon second, and then see what else... Mm. Sorry for the silence. It was just a moment of silence for Sarkon. That's... And I'm going to admit that I was savoring that draw just a little bit. Just, just a little bit of savoring, right? So these, these tokens with the Archon are 36 36 per cast so getting that second march of the multitudes means that i will very easily be able to get 72 72 worth of tokens down really fast well i mean you know fast ish right tamio's matagains are subpar at best but hmm, maybe we'll get our third off and then we have super matagains now <laughs> that's ridiculous okay uh, Gaia's Revenge means absolutely nothing to me. It means nothing to me because I have A, lifelink, and B, almost more importantly, I have, ta-ta, a Harmonious Archon, meaning that that Gaia's is now a 3-3. Sucker. And somehow, okay, that's, mm, that's a bug. Hold on. Let's, let's detail this. Uh, no, 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 you just aren't Kenrith's transformation. Yeah, no, these just keep lifelink. Sweet. Okay, that's awesome. Let's just make big, big tokens and call it a day. I really wish that I could get more of these tokens down, but ultimately this is this is the best we're going to do with game one. We're, we're just going to get really big, big tokens. Uh, that's going to be seven more, so 21. Oh, it just, it, it barely won't break the 100 threshold. Just barely won't. Okay, well, Sarkon just got smashed. That's, oof. Wow, that was, that was fast. That was, that was savage. I'm going to be honest here, guys. This was my first time playing this deck. It was just, I had, I had this inkling that it would be fun, and that was downright dirty. So, let's... Let's play it for a round two. Let's see if it was just, you know, random coincidence that that turned out to be downright dirty. I will say that I did get a very sick sense of satisfaction at neutering a Gaia's revenge like that. Turning a Gaia into a 3-3, three, three, that, that's a good feeling, guys. That, that's a really good feeling. Killer Instinct, we want that. We want that fast because that first Killer Instinct means that we are going to be... Oh, oh yes, this is a sweet match. Okay. 
Um, that means that we're going to be getting harmonious archons every turn. And remember that they make tokens. So the archon doesn't die. Ooh, that's just that. That's fantastic. I feel like there's really not a bad draw in this deck, which, you know, I mean, that's in part the sign of a good deck. You, you don't want to have cards that you're like, I don't want to draw this. But particularly in this deck, right? I mean, hmm. Okay, so not being able to gain other sorts of mana is a non-issue. Um, an entire non-issue. We don't, we do not care about that at all. So unfortunately for Lavinia, Lavinia is not going to make it so that we don't fetch. So that, that's that's the failing here, Lavinia. I'm I'm sorry, girl. All right, even more of those tokens. This is getting pretty strong. So, um, yeah, Sarkon, unless you play removal, you're doomed. Now those are going to start drawing me cards because of the spy network. The spy network is not going to be making me a 4-4. Four, four. No, no. It's going to be making a 12-12, which makes the Opter spy network even better. And then, ooh, we're not going to get it down, are we? Mm, nope. We don't get to add the extra salt. We just... Okay, that was another game that went really, really quickly. Getting a turn one killer instinct is the certifiable fact destruction. Not fair. Okay. Okay. I, I, I rarely do this, but we're going to go into a game three here. We're going to see, do, is this just as bonkers in game three as it is in games one and two? Because honestly, this card is bananas. No, I'm not going to sing for you the B-A-N-A-N-A-S thing because let's face it, Singing is just not my jam. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, finale of Revelation. Thought your spy network. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and toss the second finale. And, oh, I want you, but I want the mana more. So, bye-bye. Uh, when I'm saying I want the mana more, I'm going to be getting a bunch of cards with half mana. And I want that more than I want the Thopter spy network. Because... Mmm... -hmm. Yeah, okay, Killer Instinct, beautiful. And it's not just Killer Instinct. Remember, Killer Instinct is going to be getting us... Uh, let's do it this way. Yeah, that's that's going to be fair and balanced. Definitely fair and balanced. And I believe we got our blue gem. Yeah, perfect. We increased our blue mana bonus. So we're going to make the blue match. Oh, not, not quite. But it's okay. Skin Shifter comes down. No big deal, except that that's definitely not standard and i'm definitely in a standard training ground so uh, whatever doesn't matter this deck's gonna get smacked Ooh, ooh, ooh! i feel like greg that's great all right well i'm going to go ahead put on my divination skills not like trelawney who's a fraud but clearly real divination skills, and Sarkon is going to be getting a major smackdown. Uh, am I going to be able to use that one is the question. And the answer to said question is no. So, as that's going to be a no, let's make the answer yes. Ding! Bye-bye. And that means we get Tamiyo, which is great, and we get Mystic Sanctuary to get our March of the Multitudes back. Yes, that's right. That's fair. That's balance. And yeah, you do that. Okay. Just just don't get rid of my tokens, please and thank you. What is this? Pig? No problem. Don't care about the pig. Because Archon. Archon time. Mm. Okay, so those 33 33s are about to get even nastier because March of the Multitudes. Oh, I should have left March of Multitudes in the graveyard, and then just Tamiyo swooped it back up again, shouldn't I have? Ah, <sighs> silly, silly Nalthazar. Well, well, we'll freely kill the pig, shall we? And then, let's see, how are we doing for mana here? It doesn't matter. This dude's dead. Yeah, this is, this is game over. This is just disgusting. Like, seriously. This is not fair. At all. This is imbalanced. In a good way. Right? Sort of? Maybe? Maybe not? 
because remember these these tokens are all going to double because of high alert so that's now 120 okay yeah you're okay yep march of the multitudes again and boom done okay well i don't think that we need to put this in a fourth game i feel like that's 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 just the deck guys so if you want a standard deck, you've been struggling to find one to use, you did get the Archon. I know that this is a little bit mythic heavy. A lot bit mythic heavy, but it's crazy strong. Oh, I was in Legacy Training Grounds. That's right. An extra free tent. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Legacy is getting spanked by this. Has no chance. So once again, here's the deck. It's awesome. If you've got the cards, try it out. You'll have fun. I did. See you in the next one.